with Joe Biden projected to be the next president, the future of the Trump administration's border wall and further efforts to secure the border are now in question. News 4 Tucson's Chorus Nylander digging deeper into what a new administration could mean for Arizona's southern border. Well, for those in support of President Trump and his border policy, it's certainly something they're worried about. While well, migrant advocacy groups are hoping for an easing of tensions along the border, but they're not holding their breath. But it's the folks that live right in the middle of this national debate that have the most at stake. It's another day in Nogales, Arizona. Another day looking at this barrier laced with razor wire, drawing a line in the sand between its namesake and Mexico. Some would celebrate it as a means of national security. Others would call it needless oppression. Nogales Mayor Arturo Garino hasn't found a name for it, but he's confident it's here to stay. I really don't think they'll, somebody will start tearing it down for any reason. The border and so-called border wall was a cornerstone of President Trump's initial campaign, landing him into the White House. Now Joe Biden is projected to be the next president, promising to tone down the controversial border policies. Mayor Garino doesn't seem hard sold on any expectations. He says the Nogales fence, as it stands today, was put up under the Obama administration. But if nothing else, he hopes that President Biden would take down the razor wire put up under the Trump administration. And it looks horrible. It doesn't look right. Gregory Droger has lived in Nogales 35 years. He's a local attorney here. The border is literally outside his office window. I love it here. I love Nogales. I love Santa Cruz County. We think it's uh, one of the certainly safest places to live in Arizona. And he's right. According to the latest data from the FBI, Nogales saw a steady drop in crime from a peak in 2015. As of 2018, the town was well below the Arizona and national violent crime rates. Droger is optimistic, though, for a Biden administration, hoping it brings relief to what he says was four years of his community unfairly being described as a war zone. Typically, we see a Black Hawk going overhead, some congressman from Iowa looking down, no doubt, oh, my God, oh, how horrible, things being pointed out on the ground. It's all just theater. President-elect Biden has promised that he won't build another foot of border wall. Jessica Bolter with the Migration Policy Institute says President-elect Biden will have to play a careful balancing act, not showing ignorance to border security, while also not reinvesting in the controversial policies of President Trump he spoke out against. Also making sure that uh, the shift doesn't come so drastically uh, that something like a, a new border crisis emerges. Speaking with several other people in Nogales who did not want to go on camera, I found most people were indifferent, not expecting hardly anything to change. I did find one man who strongly believes that not enough is being done to secure the border. Certainly an issue many people are still split on. Only time will tell what a change in administrations will mean for a change in border policy. Digging deeper for you, Cor Snylander, News 4 Tucson.